Hello folks, this is Steve A.B. Poirier. Now, it's especially important to say that nothing in this episode is a promotion, nor is it a recommendation. <clears throat> now, I just went across the road to my mailbox. Yeah, I live out in the country. And there was just one letter in there, and it was from a company that I didn't recognize. So as I always do when I get back in the house, I take the scissors out of the drawer and I open it to see what it is. Now I'm not afraid to show you the name of the company. Got it? Sencora. C-E-N-C-O-R-A. So I start reading the first paragraph, and it is addressed to me personally. Not dear customer in the neighborhood. It's addressed to me personally. So I start reading it, and I already, I go, oh, okay, now let's use Google search. C-E-N-C-O-R-A, H-A-C-K-E-D, hat. You know I do these videos about what the bad boys are doing. It's 1.52 p.m. the 25th of May, 2024. I just came back from my mailbox. I've got a letter from somebody that I don't know. It's addressed to me by name. Top stories, bleeping computer, Sencora data breach exposes U.S. patient info from eight drug companies. Yeah, that's what it's about. Reuters, Sencora notifies individuals about data stolen earlier this year. Yahoo Finance, after United Health cyber attack, Drug distributor Sincora notifies American health information stolen in data breach. These are these are things articles that have been published within the last 24 hours. TechCrunch one day ago, U.S. pharma giant Sincora says Americans help information stolen in data breach. Drug discovery, 24 hours ago, drug discovery trends, Sincora data breach exposes patient data at top pharma Reddit, I cybersecurity, Sincora data breach, they're all copying each other, but it's about the same thing, isn't it? There's my notification. Oh, I'm old, I have, not, not, I have generic and non-generic prescriptions. And I, yes, I recognize the name of the company in particular as to why they're sending me this personal data breach letter. It's going to touch everybody, folks. Do you realize how the whole system, now I'm not getting down on this company. I'm talking about like the operating system I'm on. Windows! Hack here, hack there. I'm using a Chrome browser. <clears throat> Let me show you something. First of all, the, the bleeping computer article. Sencor data breach exposes U.S. patient info from 11 drug companies. Updated on 525. That's today. <clears throat> <clears throat> to add three more pharmaceutical firms impacted by the Sencor security breach. Some of the largest drug companies in the world. I'm reading it. Some of the largest drug companies in the world have disclosed Data breaches due to a February 2024 cyber attack at Sincor, whom they partner with for pharmaceutical and business services. Now, look. 
<clears throat> what you're seeing over and over again is what I call consolidation. I'm going to give a mundane example that everybody can understand. How many car companies were there in USA in 1910? Wikipedia. Category. Vehicle manufacturing companies established in 1910. And the point is, there's a, there's a list here, but it's not the United States. But there, there's a list of cars, Alfa Romeo, Anchor Bunny, Bunky, Lexington Automobile, Lion Automobile, Maytag Magnum Motor Company, Morgan Motor Company, Morris Motor Company, Auto. Now, a few of these I know, the Morris Motor, but that's all consolidated now. I'm looking, this is just the name of companies that were established in 1910 at the beginning of everybody's going to need to have an automobile. We're going to get into this business. How many of them are still there today? I rode across North Af half of North Africa in the Land Rover Company, which was a UK company, started just before the Second World War, right? Who owns Land Rover? I'm doing this for a reason. Who owns Land Rover and Jaguar? Is it Fiat? Tata Motors. Who is Tata Motors? That's India. This is, this is Land Rover got its start as the Land Rover Company in 1885, which began as a bicycle manufacturer in Warwickshire, England. This, this fits right. All right. The point is they're now owned by who? A company in India. And who was the one before that? I think it was Fiat. In, uh, in, it's called Consolidation. Do you understand that? Okay, now what has that got to do with this? What's that got to do with this? <clears throat> Pharmaceutical companies, each used to be told, but then computers come in, and then the government regulation and information and tracking and all this, all those supernova over the internet and the web and whatever, and they don't, they, that's not their business. The people who make this drug or that, that's not their main business. So you hire a service, and amongst those services, there's consolidation, just like there's consolidation amongst the drug companies. The pharmaceutical company that I worked for in the mid-1960s for a year, has gone through over six name modifications since, meaning consolidations, merging with other companies. Do you follow what I'm saying? And I got back to talking about a pharmaceutical company. I'm not going to name it. United States, that I worked for in 1960s, in the 1960s. Same deal. Now we're back to pharmaceutical companies. <clears throat> so these various companies that are major brand ethical drugs hire certain kinds of services they don't really know how to do well, like government regulation, and I'm guessing that's what Sencora is actually about. I'm guessing. I haven't looked. <clears throat> now look at what it says. Talk about consolidation. Second paragraph. I haven't read this before I started this. 
Some of the largest drug companies in the world have disclosed data breaches due to a February 24 cyber attack at Sencora, whom they partner with for pharmaceutical and business services. Sencora, formerly Amerisource Bergen, ah, consolidation, is a pharmaceutical services provider specializing in drug distribution. See, we just want to be making it. We don't want the headaches of how to get it to pharmacies, how to get it to India, if they want to specialty pharmacy, consulting, clinical trial support. If you paid attention to those things that Sencora do, you notice that they're not just exact copies of each other, but they represent itself a consolidation of earlier companies that specialized in each of those, not all of them. Did you follow that? <clears throat> the Pennsylvania-based Clayburgs, Pennsylvania. This is from Clayburgs, Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania-based firm with a presence in 50 countries employs 46,000 people and has a revenue of $262 billion. Oh, do you think they were a prime target for break-in? So they, they had to tell the Securities Exchange Commission that they had a break-in and that personal data was exfiltrated. <clears throat> At the time, the company opted not to share any additional information about the incident. No ransomware groups ever assume responsibility. And then they go into Sencora and its last group affiliate partner. That's exactly the way it starts with pharmaceuticals. That's exactly the... That's exactly the way this one starts. Novartis Pharmaceuticals is one of them. Bayer Corporation is another. Abbey V, I don't know that one. Regeneration Pharmaceuticals. Genetech, I know that one from when the company was founded in DNA Research. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, that goes back. That goes back to like the 1980s, I think, or 1990s, early 1990s. Insight Corporation, Sumimoto Pharma America, which presumably is a Japanese company, Arcadia Pharmaceuticals, GlaxoSmithKline Group. I, I know that one. That one, that's one that's... <clears throat> you should see the number of names. This one, GlaxoSmithKline Group. They've got a research facility here in North Carolina. I've met some people who work there. Dendrion Pharmaceuticals. So there's a nice long list, and even I recognize a handful of the major names that are in that group. <clears throat> and they're talking about this notification. You'll be getting one, too. That's the message. You'll be getting one, too. If you just take out some of these, like Smith, GlaxoSmithKline, Bayer, Novartis, I recognize those names. Those are superpowers in terms of ethical drugs. Am I saying that right? Let me get that right. Ethical drugs, meaning, definition of ethical drug, a drug that's available only with a written instructions from a doctor or a dentist to a pharmacist. It's a prescription drug. See, I still remember it from the 1960s. Among other things, I used to run a tableting machine. Yeah! Making that stuff you swallow. Yeah! Okay? I'm in the news. Steve A. Before you. The entire system is totally 
insecure. When I say the entire, look at what I'm looking at. Bleeping computer, over the web, computers, software, networking, la 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 la. It's full of a billion holes. There's no such thing as being safe. Not even down to, and I'll remind you of my video the other day. ARRL, American Radio Relay League, hacked. These are YouTube videos. Finally, an update from the ARRL. Did the ARRL, our ARRL logbook, nobody is immune, safe, or so insignificant that they aren't breaking in everywhere. They. It's a big industry. Headline news right in my mailbox. Steve A.B. Foyo, just having fun, saying see you at 73.